Noob Noob, are you ready to get tronned up? As long as Jared Leto Joker shows up, I'm ready. Oh my god. <laughs> we know Jared Leto is going to make an appearance, but will Jared Leto Joker make an appearance? Hopefully. I, he is, I heard, the villain and the hero of Tron. He is all of the above. But we have our first image from Tron Ares? Sure. Whatever. This Why? is the first I've heard that this is in existence. I've heard that they've been trying to make a sequel to Tron for like a bajillion. I, it's interesting, right? Because the first Tron came out like, what, 80 in something? In the 80s, yeah. And then Tron Legacy came out in... 2010s. It sucked. Yeah. The only thing I remember about that, I remember two things. Olivia Wilde was in it. Correct. And I thought she was going to be much cooler than she actually was, and she was not. Yeah. I thought she'd be like, you know, Trinity from The Matrix. I remember and she they turned both out being became like, humans suck. at the end, I think. Um, did they though? I think so. I just remember I thought she'd be like bad ass and like cool, but she turned out to be like, oh, she like literally does nothing. It's barely even a character. Because she's terrible. not real. She's not a real person. And I remember Daft Punk is in it. Oh yeah. Because there's a scene from Tron Legacy, and then Ant Man Quantum Mania copies the scene from Tron Legacy. Do they really? Yes. It's basically the same movie. And then I remember really bad CGI of uh, Jeff Bridges. Jeff Bridges. Yeah. Where it was like the first time they did like, what are they, like CGI face swappage. Oh, yeah. Where they, they made him younger or whatever. Yes. Yeah. So let's check out these first images and see how we feel about it. How do we feel? Tron Ares. Looks cool. First look image reveals a villainous red suit. This is from IGN. First story details. Here's a look at Tron 3. I never anticipated Tron 3. Nor so, did um, anyone. Tron John is not in this, just Tron. A little confused. But yeah. What are, what are the story details? They're uh Jared Leto's in it. Yeah. It's red that. instead of blue now. Tron Ares follows a highly sophisticated program, Ares, who is sent from the digital world into the real world on a dangerous mission. Marking humankind's first encounter with AI beings. This sounds like Terminator. Is he gonna? Are there gonna be like hilarious sequences where they don't understand how to interact with humans? <laughs> That's what I think is gonna happen. This is not gonna do well. No, I, no way. Who asked for this? Nobody. Why are you making it? They made this solely the so they can make a new Disney ride. Oh my gosh! Well, first of all, the Tron Disney ride is pretty dope. Did they do this because they're going to lose the copyright on it? Probably. Oh, don't, doesn't everybody make movies just to keep the copyright? I feel like that's now a thing. Yeah. I mean, it's always been a thing. Like, let's dump $100 million, use it as a tax write-off, keep the copyright, and uh, now we're good for another 10, 20 years. Well, we don't know much else about John Ares, but we can infer that the red suit means that these characters are specifically loyal to the Master Control Program. Is Jared Leto supposed to be in the red suit? I do do not know. Disney did confirm, though, that Jared Leto will star in the film, along with Greta Lee. Don't know who that is. Evan Peters, who I like. Hassan Minaj, Jody Turner-Smith, Arturo Castro, and Cameron Monaghan. And Gillian Anderson. What? Scully's in it. The heck Scully's going to be. Yeah. There's some good people in there. This is a sequel stretching all the way back to 2013. The film was reportedly canceled in 2015, but then resurfaced in 2017 and then confirmed to come back in 2023. Joaquin Ronning, who is that? I have no idea. I have no idea. They, they keep saying the Tron franchise. It's not a franchise. It's now a trilogy of movies spanning 40 years. 40 years of movies, man. I don't know. I, I, I don't know how to feel about this. Ambivalent? I don't care that much about Tron, so... So there's that. I mean, but, Good but Jared Leto to see Joker. a trailer. Oh, so if you see the trailer, you How juicy does that butt look in that suit while it's moving? Ooh. Yeah. Booty fresh. Is there a hot girl in it? I didn't list... I didn't Is, hear was one Olivia, listed. Olivia Wilde was hot enough at the time to get you interested. With that little, little, little pixie cut? Yeah. You were in. Didn't hear anybody hot now, though, so... A little sus. 
No, I don't know that there's any hot girls. And we'll see the hot cyber chicks. What if it is Terminator based in the real world? That seems like a bad idea. Yeah. Just hire Anna to Armas. I'll watch it. Yeah. I mean, she'll be 40 at the point, but whatever. It's fine. It's okay. We'll keep it going. Who's who, who was that? Was it someone else next on your plate? Uh... Isabel Merced. Oh, Isabel Merced. Yeah. Oh my God, Isabel Merced is so much better than Isabel Merced is so much better. Vaguely than, generic looking girl. She's better. So than much better. Jenna Ortega. Although, did you hear? There's a whole controversy over Jenna Ortega, and uh, the guy from The Hobbit having a sex scene. And what? <laughs> there's a whole Martin Freeman. Yeah. Do you know? There's like a whole. There's the intimacy coordinators. What? See what those are. So anyway, Hollywood decided to have intimacy coordinators who like help you figure out your sex scenes so that everyone has consent. Like, can I consensually while we're being filmed by people to do this, that or the other thing, which I would think like, hey, don't do that on film would be a good like, let's do that. Right. So Martin Freeman plays like her teacher. <laughs> And there's oh, like a boy. sex scene. Oh, no. Well, apparently the intimacy coordinator leaked a whole bunch of stuff. And now people are mad at the intimacy coordinators. And and I don't understand. And the whole idea of Martin Freeman and Jenna Ortega just freaks me out to That's, begin with. I'm uncomfortable. I am uncomfortable with all of these. I don't things. know if I can enjoy this. I'll try my best, but I don't know if I can enjoy that scene. I uh, Yeah. So anyway, I'll watch it several times just to make sure. Just to make sure it's okay with you? Yeah. What about in Tron? What if they have an intimacy, co- intimacy coordinator? I'll assess. You'll assess I'll later. I'll assess at the time. Only if Daft Punk is involved. Yes. So anyway, that's all there is for us. I'm the man you may know as E. This is Noob Noob, and we are live Friday night, 7.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. You'll have a lot of fun. Come join us. It's a part A. You could join us for some memberships. As little as one dollar can feed a young starving noob noob for a whole year. I do need the McDonald's chicken nuggets and, and a shamrock shake. One dollar will help me get at least a portion of my nuggets. <laughs> you can get some nuggies for that. What about what else can they do to help support the movie channel? codes? Uh, you, no, what do you, what do you mean? Just what give us can money. they do? Give us money. Give me Forcibly. the money. Give you the money. Give me the money. Cut what Z can out. they do to help us support the Join channel? Join the memberships for the dollar. There's other things they could do. Like and subscribe. There you go. Uh, I forgot about that. You win. I just want the money. Absolutely. Anyway, yeah. let us know. Are you excited about this in the comments below? Are you excited for Jared Leto? Or would you prefer Jared Leto Joker appears? Either way, let us know. We read them all. But as for us, we are on to the next one. Oh.